Hello everybody, this is me from the road again. I'm just, um, I'm really a few months late making this video. It's my reaction video to the, to the book by Isabel Wilkerson, Cast. Now, this is actually, it's not something I can really put into just a, a short, you know, a short video. So, I say this is the beginning. And this is the the intro to a series of videos that I may 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 be making. I don't know, but the rea the reality of it is is the book is very very well done, very in depth. And I'd actually like to be able to actually sit at a table and actually do a video that kind of clarifies some of the points of it, and 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 because it's, it's it's more to digest than simply making a quick little video with with a couple of moments of um, commentary, but. I felt compelled to, at this time, it is dramatically important. It is dramatically important for us all to hear what she has been able to document in this in this book, so that we can really amplify the conversations around how we get at the race issues that we have in our country, and that it's more than than a race issue; that's a caste issue. You know, and and you know, you know, we hear phrases like the caste system, and we put no mind to them because you know we we equate it to you know another country, you know, to India, but we don't we don't look at our own country in that perspective, from that perspective, and 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 but how she puts it in this book and how she you know really unpacks it, you know, and and really you know delves down into our history and and you know up until now. Um, that she I think she completed the book over the summer. I tell you, it's 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 very profound. It's very profound, and it speaks to me in a in a very critical, hyper important way because the reality of it is is I am part of the lower caste in our country, and I'm just going. It is is what it is. You know, I don't make excuses about this. I don't make excuses up. I mean, the reality of it is, is no excuse, you know, that I am part of, you know, when we look at it from a caste um, system standpoint, I am part of the lower caste. And the interesting thing about it is, you know, in our country, obviously I did not know that growing up. You no know, one I knew, knew it growing up. You know, we didn't talk about it. We didn't, you know, we just, you know, a lot of things were accepted. But, you know, in a caste system, you know, the 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 positions that you're born in are typically just accepted. You know, if you're upper caste, obviously, you know, obviously, you know, you accept that. If you're lower caste, more typically you 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 live with it or you die with it and you grow to accept it, whether you you didn't know that there was another opportunity or chance to not have to, you know, be subjected to being a lower caste or not. So, you know, my one of my, you know, my my, you know, cursory reaction is everybody needs to know this. <laughs> we can't even get into substantive conversations because we don't, you know. The majority of Americans are clueless and have no idea of the system that we're in, you know, and that's whether you're a high or a low, you know, and so the the, the fact of the matter is, it, you know, we interface with one another on a daily basis and, you know, those of us in the lower caste spend a lot of time attempting to blend with the upper caste. And the upper caste has no interest in blending the lower caste with the upper caste. And we spend our wills just, just trying to fit in. Trying to fit in. Trying to fit in. And, and totally unaware is the most of us that we're not even close to even being a part of the upper caste. Because upper caste is constructed in a manner that, you know automatically automatically precludes you becoming part of it 
You know, there's not one person setting back, setting, you know, saying, you know, you know, as a as the gatekeeper to the to the cast saying, you know, you can't get in, you can't get in. It's a system of them. It's 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 a it's built into processes. It's built built into, you know, you know, we talk about systemic racism, it's built into systems, you know, to whether whether it's in the, you know the credit system, whether it's in the finance system, whether it's in the you know the banking systems, whether it's in the you know criminal justice system, whether it's built in. These are these these are built in, you know, into our systems, and so you know these 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 caste divisions are built into our systems, and in order for us to start, you know, working towards eradicating them, we have to we have to first understand that they are that they are, and that um that we have to become very extremely adamant about going about the business of of identifying identifying this is an issue um admitting to ourselves oh you know i am in the system because here's the thing you are in the system if you're in this system you're in the system one way or the other no getting around you know everybody nobody wants to be the bad guy you know but once we have to once we start unpacking things and we start understanding you know bad guy good guy regardless the reality of it is is this is what it is and if you happen to be the bad guy you know you know repent turn away from it you know and, and start to learn and start to you know you know start to grow forward you know what i'm saying in yourself you know if 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 you 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 know if you've been a victim of it your whole life you know understand understand that this is the thing start to grow from it you know we can all you know this is the thing we can all grow from it it's going to be hard but we have to admit it you know and and the the, the lower caste has no position here there um, there there are other pieces there are a lot of there, there's millions of dynamic pieces let's just clarify that piece but one thing that we have to understand is you know the upper caste has no motivation for things to change there's no motivation Unfortunately, that's the issue. How does upper caste get motivated to change the thing? Well, from the upper caste position, there's no need to change it because everything is great. From a lower caste position, obviously, we're like, this needs to change right now. You know, we can't take it no more. It needs to change today, you know, by any means necessary, you know. So, never the twain shall meet. If if we don't if we don't understand if we don't all get on the same page that hey this thing is real this thing exists and we have to address it we have to begin addressing it and stop denying it you know if you have a problem you have to address you have the problem before you can fix the problem before the problem can heal you know if your leg is broken you know just sitting there looking at your leg shaking your head talking about it's not broken it's not going to repair your leg you got to get yourself to the doctor get to the hospital. You know, they have to set your leg. They have to, you know, brace it. They have to, you know, they have to put your leg in a position to start to heal. And then they have to allow it to heal. It has to be allowed to heal. And then it has to be checked up on. And then it has to be, you know, you know, taken care of in order for it to heal. That's how healing happens. Now, I could have used a <laughs> another analogy with the wound, but that would be a little bit gross. But the bottom line about it is, is the healing process has to start and it does not start until you address the issue you know america we got to address the issue of a caste system that we all that we're all living in and we have to you know become critical about wanting it to change now we got to be honest with ourselves as well a lot of people are not going to want it to change like we got to remember you know the upper caste is not going to be motivated by anything out of out of out of you know you know other than other than you know being moral or being being you know you know walking 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 in obedience to Christ you know and I, and I and I wish I wish you know that 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 people would really be who they say they are but now if we are who we say we are we can do this if we are who we say we are we're going to do this so that's just my initial brief little introduction to my reaction on um 
um, cast by um, Isabel Wilkerson. And um, I'm going I'm to I'm elaborate on more because it's, it's, it's too much to just, you know, just generally just throw out here in a, in a few minutes while I'm just driving around in my car, you know, taking care of business and so forth. But um, I just wanted to start the process of addressing, you know what I'm saying, the, the power and potency of this particular book. And, um, you know, I really, I really advocate that each and every one of you take the time to, to read it, to, you know, get the audio book, if you, you know, I mean, you know, whatever, however you can get the content into you, the full breadth of the content into you, I, I implore you to do so. It, it will benefit you, it will benefit us all, and I think that this is going to which which call um, the beginning of really opening up our minds towards how we can start to address these issues. God bless you. Talk to you later.